Thomas was a quiet kid unless there was something that he was passionate about, politics being one of them. He just did not like politicians, especially with the choices that we've had. Um, he did not like our politicians. Um, it was especially during um, 2016, it was Bernie Sanders, Hillary Clinton, all of them. Um, he showed dis that he disliked all of them, did not like any of them. So I, I, I brought up the fact that I'm Hispanic and, you know, I'm, I'm for Trump. And he said, well, you're Hispanic, so shouldn't you hate Trump? And I was like, um, no, he's, he's great. I mean, like, he's a great president. And um, he's, you know, he called me stupid or insinuated that I was stupid. He's like, well, that's kind of stupid. If he, he was a know-it-all. Um, so, like, once again, if he was passionate about something, he would just talk, 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 and acted like he, know, he knew everything, especially politics-related. And um, he was just, he was, he, he would say it in a tone that was like, I'm better than you, in a type of way. And, you know, meanwhile, it's like, dude, we're in the same classes. You know what I mean? We're talking about the same stuff here. And whenever it comes to politics, I mean, at the end of the day, I can agree, you can agree, you can disagree, I can disagree. Like, at that point, it doesn't matter. At that point, it's, you know, I mean, we're just starting to figure out who we like and all. But, yeah, he was real uh, smug and arrogant whenever he was talking. And whether that was his way to try to make friends or be funny, I don't know. But it, it, it got under my skin a lot. So his friend group, um, they were known for being, like I said, like just out there little bit more recluse some of them didn't even show up to school some of them went home school some of them I think one of them went to like a private school um, they were definitely the type and they did make threats to shoot up our school and that year I believe it was our I believe it was our freshman year because I had left our freshman year before I had left um, you know everyone going through Snapchat, everybody's texting, everybody, you know, saying this, that, and the third. Everybody was saying it was Thomas who made a threat, and it was that friend group. Um, everyone was mainly blaming the friend group, but a, a name that kept coming up was Thomas. And um, he never did anything, you know what I mean? He, he left school for a couple of days. It wasn't anything like a suspension or anything. It was just a couple of days, you know, probably, he, he was not severely bullied almost nobody knew so you know for somebody who got severely bullied i can i, I mean i'm not going to name names but i could name you a few students that were severely bullied and i remember their names he's not one of them the signs were there and somebody definitely had to go down somebody whether he was talking to somebody or somebody either just didn't realize and just overlooked it somebody should have known because he was not a loner and hit both of his parents being counselors, how do you not see that warning sign here or something? Everybody, anybody who knew him knew him should have seen something, should have known something was up. And I know it's, you know, it's kind of easy to hide, but people are gonna get their affairs in order before they do something this bold and this drastic and nobody saw it and why.